What is going on? It is the life of Poe, Donnie Shoots, and today I want to have a quick video. I want to talk about the 5D Mark II. Now, I picked up the 5D Mark II in August. It is now November. It's been three months, and I just want to talk about the camera a little bit. So, I got extremely lucky. The guy didn't know the shutter count. He was like, oh yeah, whatever, I don't know. I think it's like 30,000. So, the shutter count is rated at 13,000 and like 400. 13,000. Now, the shutter accuation, how much they say this will last, like the life, about 150. This guy sold me a full frame 5D Mark II, the legendary 5D Mark II, for $330 with nothing on the shutter. This leaves so much room for successful ventures. It leaves room for just creative opportunity. It leaves room for me to just spray and pray. And this, this beauty, man. I put a nifty 50 on it. That's the classic Canon lens. You have to use it, you know. It's the go-to. It's like the Honda Civic of lenses. You gotta go use it. I'm going to put some images on the screen right now. So, I've been experimenting. I started off with the 1855 kit off of a old Canon DSLR. Well, not old, but like, I'd say 20 years old. Cap, maybe like 26, I'd say. And it had autofocus, which was a shocker. And the images, they had like a, a different look. It looked good though. Like, the colors felt more contrasty and popish. And it just, ever since I got this 50 millimeter, it's just been great. I like the images. I am a Fujifilm shooter. I love Fujifilm. I stand and live by Fujifilm. However, this is my first full frame camera and it's so good. I like it. The images, they have a, a nice sharp HDR-ish, but not like bad HDR-ish look. Like it has like a, it, the pictures look real and I like having this in my arsenal because I have multiple different cameras and each camera has a different type of job and this is my portrait camera I only use it for portrait work and it gives that nice oh headshot portrait aesthetic that other cameras don't really have now Will I carry this camera with me to New York City? Probably not. The age of this camera, it's it's about, I'd say, um, I'm just gonna let the wind pass while I'm thinking. The camera is 13 years old, so you can shoot street photography, but one goes up to 8,000 of a second, which is still fast enough. However, I choose other cameras due to the fact that, you know, the autofocus is not the best. This is a 13-year-old camera, but this was the first camera, I'd say, that had video, right? Or, like, full-frame camera that had video. They used this camera in the Avengers, actually, for certain scenes and stuff. But I'm not really shooting video on this. I'm just taking photos. So for portraits, I love it. I will recommend this heavily for portraits. The full frame, it just, it's nice. You get the whole image, there's no crop. And like, if you have to crop, the image still looks great. The amount of detail you get in these images and just the, the feel of the camera. I'm not really a Canon shooter. I started on Nikon. So this is my first real Canon and I like it. I like it. It's a good, it's a good camera. It's, I'd recommend it. Under $500, you can't beat this camera. This camera is definitely worth $400, I'd say. And you should buy one if you just, you're looking to have like a, a 5D. The 5D lineup is, the 5D Mark IV is kind of expensive, even though mirrorless is in and no one really shoots with DSLRs anymore. But, I like DSLRs. Like, I just, I love them. They feel great, they're fast. 
that was in focus. It's nice. The auto focus and the, the auto settings aren't the best though. I personally prefer to take it all manual. Like, okay, I, I want 100 ISO. I want this shutter speed. Like, auto shooting auto on this camera isn't the best experience. Other cameras have better auto, and they're older. But for a $400 camera, if you, it's not even super heavy either. So if you really need a camera, and you don't want to get a regular Rebel T7 or something from Walmart, definitely look into one of these. These cameras are really good. It didn't come with a flash though. I, I was a little shocked because I like those flash photos. I love taking flash photography. And I just had to put my external flash that I bought like four years ago. And the images still come out nice. It still come out nice. There is no embodied stabilization because, you know, the camera's older. But who really cares about image stabilization? They weren't using image stabilization 30 years ago. 20 years ago even, literally. So if they can live with it, you can too. Zero out of 10, this camera is about, mm, eight out of 10. Portrait works amazing. It will get everything you need to get done. If you wanna take any outdoor landscape photography, it will look great. The colors are great. The Canon color science is amazing. Definitely, if you're collecting cameras or you're looking for a full frame camera, before you drop a thousand, two thousand, even three thousand on a new camera, look at this 5D Mark II. Try it out. You know, no, you might like it more than other cameras because you know we can't really differentiate between 20. This is 20 megapixels. We can't really tell the difference between 20 megapixels and. 24 30 make like it's a small difference it's not worth the extra 600 dollars unless you're printing big billboards but if you're not just know a little family camera little travel camera definitely get it thank you guys for watching i appreciate it i shot this on my xt1 with a manual lens i'm testing out something i want to see how it looks you guys are greatly appreciated you're the best thank you